I'm just going to show the speedy widgets add-on and I'm going to show real quick how it works and how you can use it and what it does. So basically the speedy widgets is this add-on right here. I am on a demo of the switch home team. So there is this plugin when you install it and these are the settings. So this plugin basically creates a bunch of widgets that you can use instead, instead of the IGX broker default widgets that come with the IM Press plugin. And with these widgets, you can load lighter widgets and you can have a more lightweight and a faster website than you would using the default IGX broker widgets. So when you install it, you just need to add your IGX broker API key. Uh, and you can configure, for example, the placeholder image, the width and height of the images. And how the plugin works is that it loads lighter images overall. And on top of doing that, it also loads uh, a nicer styling. So it's a lot prettier than the default IGX broker widgets. This is how the speedy widgets look. Uh, these are the speedy widgets they load. Uh, this has a, cost, a custom styling for the Switch Home Pro team. But in general, they all have the same design. These images are way lighter than they usually are. Uh, for example, if you just copy the code of the widget on the IGX broker, you will see that uh, they will load a lot more heavy than they do here. So this is basically what it does. And they also have the carousel option and slideshow option and the showcase option. So this is how it looks. So now I'm going to show how you can use it. After you're done setting up the plugin, adding the API key, you can go to your widget area, for example. If you're using a team that has widget areas or BB Builder, you can easily add new widgets to the layout. So this is how we do for the switch on theme. Uh, you can click here and you can choose the widget or the plugin, which is called carousels and showcases. In here, you choose a widget that you created on the IGX worker dashboard. You can choose the image size and you can choose the default width size. And if you want, you can use the original images, but if you want to keep them light and, and fast, it's better that you don't load the original images. So this is what you do. There's also another way to add uh, IGX, sorry, uh, speed widget. And you can do this via search coach. So for example, if you have uh, a widget that you want to add on a page. Uh, I'm just going to choose this one as an example. And you need to add a widget on it. And instead of uh, installing that plugin, that very famous plugin, I think it's called AMC Charge Code, where you can turn widgets in charge codes, you can just use the widget of the plugin. So what you need to do is copy this charge coach and you just add it to a page. So in here, you are going to get the ID of the widget that you want to use. So this is the, uh, the demo account we have for IGX Broker. And to get the idea of the widget, you just go to designs, then you go to widgets and you go to manage. In here, you will see 
a list of widgets that you created, as you can see. And you just need to choose the ID of the widget that you want to use. I'm going to copy this ID, which is a feature showcase. And I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to update the page. And you can see here the showcase that I added. Uh, so it's looking like this because there are basically no listings on this widget. And as you can see, we have only one column. So if you want to have more columns, you can, for example, add here how many columns you want, how many rows. Then after you save it, you will see the changes on the search codes that you added. So at first, some of the changes might not happen on your WordPress site right away. That's because you need to refresh the iimpress settings. When this happens, you can just go to initial settings and click refresh plugin options. And after you do that, it will refresh the API and you will load again all the settings of the widgets. So I'm just going to the page again. And you can see that the configuration has changed. So that's pretty much how you use speed widgets. Thanks.